When building blogs, landing pages, or even documentation, you want each of those pages to feature the proper meta information to ensure smooth sharing across search engines and social media. In that regard, ideally you want those informations to be fine-tuned on a per-page basis so that the home page says home page while the about page says about page. And in that regard, you already have the title of the page or this one is likely fairly easy to get. Same goes for the description, but what about the meta image? Well, there's multiple solutions to that. Maybe you don't care much about the social image or maybe you can ask your designers to get one every time you publish a new blog post. Maybe you can even streamline this process using some Figma template, for example. Well, those are all solutions to that meta issue, but there's another one which I'd like to show you today. It's about programmatically generating those open graph images using the data you already have. I'm Lissy from Prismic, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do just that, leveraging Imagix, Prismic Powerful Image CDN. All right, so today we'll be working on top of Margaret's blog, one of our starter. As you can see, I have a few articles there. Each of them feature a personalized social image like this one. For now, my process, if I were to publish a new blog post, would be about writing it in Prismic, then going to Figma. There, I'd be creating a new code, put in my title, exporting it, and uploading it to Prismic. That's not really convenient for sure, and I'm pretty sure we can do better. What if, instead of having to go to Figma each time, I'd be using my template I have here, and programmatically creating a new image from it with my title in the middle? Sure, we can do so leveraging ImageX Prismic Image CDN. Each image you upload to Prismic ends up getting served by our partner, Imagix. Thanks to that, we can leverage Imagix capabilities to transform our image, as you can see on the demo of their website right here. In our case, one of the transformations we're pretty interested in is the text transformation. This transformation allows us to append text on top of our image. So let's dive into the code and start working. Okay. So, turns out Margaret's blog is a Next.js website. However, most of the code we'll write today would be pretty much JavaScript. So, if you're more into Vue, you can keep following. If I open my article page code, we can see we have here the code responsible for open graph meta tags. Right now, it's pulling off the meta image referenced in each article document. Let's replace that code and pull off instead our base meta image template from our settings using the asimage src helper from Prismic helpers. Because this setting does not exist yet, let's create it. To do so, we head to slice machine and add a new field in our settings document. Once done, we can save it, push it to Prismic, then add to Prismic to configure our base meta image. Once done, we can publish it. Now, if we go back to our website, give it a refresh, we can now see that our meta image is now the base meta image. To work with more visual things, we'll also display our image on our website temporarily. All right, so we have our base image now used as our open graph image. How do we transform it now? Turns out the asimage src helper supports imagex transformations with its second argument. So we can start by adding a txt transformation with our blog post title inside it. By default, imagex will display our text transformation in the image corner but we can keep on manipulating it. Let's first bump its size. To do so, we need to configure the text size property, let's say 60. 
All right, now it's bigger. Let's center it this time with the text align property. We'll set it to middle center. And now our text is centered. So we're almost halfway through now. Our text is the size and where we want it to be, but it feels a bit off branding. Of course, Imagix lets you customize it more. Let's add our font back, Baskerville. As a final touch, we'll also change its color to a more subtle dark one. And here we go. If we head to another blog post, we can see our image updates. More importantly, it's also being used as our meta image in our site head. And while we kept it really simple today, Imagix lets you do a ton more of transformations on your images. Okay, so I actually fast forwarded a bit and hosted my website on Versal. Now, if I were to grab one of Margaret's blog post link and add, for example, to Slack to share it with my coworkers, we can see we'll get our personalized meta image to show carefully generated on the fly thanks to Imagix. Great. Before we go, I just want to give you a heads up. Today, we leveraged as image SRC from Prismic Helpers because we needed our image inside meta tags. However, if you want to transform images displayed within your website, you can also leverage our React and View image components that accept both ImageX parameters to transform your images. And everything is beautifully typed, so you know what you're dealing with. Great, well, we've been through a lot today. We learned about ImageX and how we can leverage it to create personalized meta images for each of our blog posts using the AsImage SRC offer from Prismic Helpers or of your React components. If you'd like to check out today's project, link is available below in the description. Same goes for ImageX documentation. That's all for me for today. Thanks for watching. Hey, Lucy here. If you liked that video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you have a question, we are here for you in the comment section below. Also, we're creating similar tutorials regularly and premiere them with live Q&As. If you don't want to miss out on them, don't forget to subscribe.